still here? You still spitting nails? You expect a medal? I expect you to grow up. Me? I realize it's a lot to ask. How would you know? Well, Kelly, you are absolutely right about me, you know that? I'm the black hat of this western. I'm the bad guy here. I mean, Lord knows, Barr would not have been able to take over Capital Enterprises without me. The man can't even decide what socks to put on each feet every morning without consulting yours truly. Oh, no, Sheriff. I didn't shoot the man. I just pulled the trigger. That's it. Why don't you just dump it on the whipping boy, huh? It's a hell of a lot easier than figuring out how to get on with your life. Listen to who's talking about getting on. You didn't have anything to lose, Rick. Until now. Yeah, right. Yeah, I just dreamed about the wife and the kid. Rats finally rolling in cheese. Well, that's news to this rat. Oh, of course. You didn't mean to sell us out. You were blackmailed, weren't you? That big bully bar twisted your arm. Poor, poor, pitiful rat. Hey, wait a minute now, Kelly. I'm not the one that's feeling sorry for myself. Spare me. I asked Barr point blank, and he said you were only too happy to oblige. For a hefty fee, no doubt. Yeah, well, I, I, I love this, Kelly. You know, I really love it. The man has wiped out your family's company, and you're hanging on every one of his words. Let me ask you something. If I go home and I just burn down your family's mansion, will that make you believe me, then? At least Barr's up front about it. God, what a view you must have from that ivory white tower of yours. Well, let me tell you something. Down here, it stinks, all right? People are getting shoved around. They're getting bent out of shape every day. And you want to know another shocker, huh? They don't always get what they want. Just imagine that. In fact, every once in a while, people don't even get a choice.